Hey, this is Torsten from marketingwithtorsten.com and in this video I want to show you how you can set up your domain on Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a content distribution network that mainly helps to speed up your website, but it also offers a lot of other additional features. I suppose you have already registered your domain with your preferred domain name registrar. If not, you need to do this first. Personally, I use namecheap.com to register my domains. They offer a great service and as their name suggests, cheap prices. I'll add the link to Namecheap below this video. Now, once your domain is registered, just go to cloudflare.com. If you don't have an account with Cloudflare yet, simply click the link on top that says sign up. On the next screen, please fill in your information, agree to the terms and conditions and click create account. If you have already an account at Cloudflare, then click Login. Enter your Cloudflare credentials on the next screen and click Login to come to the Cloudflare dashboard. In the top right corner, you will find a link that says Add Site. Click on it and you will come to a form where you enter the name of your website. You can either enter a single domain name or a list of domain names separated by a comma. Then click Begin Scan. It will take a moment for Cloudflare to scan your domain name and find all the necessary information. Once it is done, simply click the button that says Continue Setup. Cloudflare will give you in the next screen an overview of all your DNS or domain name server settings. You can make changes to these if necessary. Usually they are fine. However, you want to check that all the settings represent what you need. Important are two different icons, the one with the grey cloud and the one with the orange cloud. The grey cloud means this traffic will bypass Cloudflare and go directly to your hosting account. This will be applied to most of your DNS entries. The orange icon indicates traffic that will go through the Cloudflare CDN. Typically, this is set for your domain name like in this case badassaffiliate.com and also for its www alias, in this case www.badassaffiliate.com. In the rare case that you would have more aliases for your domain, make sure that they are also going through Cloudflare. But usually this isn't the case anyway. It could be though if you would have your blog, for example, on a subdomain called blog.badassaffiliate.com. In this case, you want to make sure that the blog alias also goes through Cloudflare's CDN. Now, once you have verified everything, click the green Continue button here below. You will be asked to choose a plan for your website. Obviously, the business website is pre-selected. Just click Free Website to change it and then hit Continue at the bottom of the list. Cloudflare will now give you a new pair of name servers to use. In this case, it is u.ns.cloudflare.com and olga.ns.cloudflare.com. The names you will get might be different though. These are the name servers that you need to enter in your registrar's name server settings. So it's a good idea to copy them and paste them in a text file for later use. Please keep the Cloudflare website open as we need to finish this setup. And now open a new browser tab to visit your domain name registrar, in this case it's Namecheap. If you use another registrar, the process will be similar. Just log in using your username and password and on the dashboard choose Domain List on the left hand side. Now wait for your registered domains to load. Choose the domain that you have just set up in Cloudflare, find the Manage button at the end of the line and click on it to see the domain details. On the domain details that are open now, scroll down to the name server section. Make sure custom DNS is selected. The name servers that are shown in the list are the ones that are currently in use. You need to change those to the ones you were given in the Cloudflare setup. So we go to our text document that we created before and copy the first name server, in this case u.ns.cloudflare.com. Then we go back to the domain details and select the first name server entry. Either triple click it or hold the mouse button while sliding over it. Then paste the new entry into this field, 
by clicking Ctrl plus V. We then repeat the step for the second name server. So we go to the text document again and copy the second name server, in this case olga.ns.cloudflare.com. Then we go back to the domain details again and select the second name server entry there. Again, either triple click it or hold the mouse button while sliding over it. Then paste the new entry into this field by clicking Ctrl plus V. Once you have entered the new name servers, first I suggest to double check that everything is correct. If your new entries are correct, then click the greenish blue check mark at the end of the name server section to save your new entries. It might now take up to 24 hours for your changes to be effective, although it's often faster. You don't need to worry about downtimes as the traffic will roll smoothly from using the old name servers to the new ones. However, as I said before, we need to go back to Cloudflare now and finish our setup there. Simply click the green Continue button on the screen with a list of new name servers and you will come to the domain name overview. In most cases, the status will be Pending as Cloudflare could not verify the new name servers yet. It might take up to 24 hours to process the changes. Nevertheless, you can force Cloudflare to check again with clicking on the blue Recheck Name Servers button. This can be done only once per hour though, so it's best just to wait and come back later to verify that the status is shown as active. I hope this video helped you with setting up your website on Cloudflare. If so, please share it with your buddies on social media and also give it a thumbs up below. Got any further questions? Just let me know in the comment section. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel that you don't miss any future videos. That's all for now folks. This was Torsten from marketingwithtorsten.com. Over and out.